way too bright for you. So, Sheriff, you just want to make a start off with a statement? You want to start off with a statement about what happened tonight, and then we can ask questions if we need to? Yeah, you'll just tell me when you're ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm ready. units they arrived on the scene uh, they found uh, several people were shot uh, that number has now been increased to five people were shot and are now deceased their ages range, range from eight years old to around 40. Uh, we do not know the names of the victims yet uh, all the victims were from the honduras from honduras yes, and the ages were eight to 40 you said uh, about uh, we, okay. we know that the youngest about the suspect? Uh, the, we do have him identified. We think if, if uh, our information is true and correct, we're currently uh, actively looking for that man. Um, that's about all we know at this time. Can you describe him? Uh, he, he's, he's a Mexican male from Mexico. Um, we do have a copy of his uh, consulate card, and at this time we're, we're, we're searching for him. What kind of describe the scene inside? What what uh, inside, outside? What was it? Uh, there, there's actually a uh, female at the front door. Uh, there's one inside the front door. And then there's two more. Uh, in, or excuse me, a male in, inside the front in the living room, and um, uh, two in, inside the bedroom. And the eight-year-old is the only child, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. To our knowledge, at this time. And you had three other children transported. Just bloodied but not not injured we did uh, there was uh, a total of 10 people in this house uh, we believe all of them to be from the Honduras um, uh, when we got here uh, the the two females in the bedroom were actually laying over the top of the the two younger children two of the three younger children that survived yes ma'am okay. what were the race uh, the uh, gender of the victims that um, you got? there was I don't, I don't know about the eight-year-old. There's one male and three females in the house at this time. Okay. And y'all, and you said that harassment, you told us earlier that harassment might have been what led to this? Yes, ma'am. On whose behalf? The uh, the Mexican male subject. Um, he, he has been known to shoot his uh, 223 out in the front yard, which is evident by the, um, the shell casings that are laying in the front yard. Okay, and he's still at large? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, you said Montgomery County SWAT out here. Was it just clear the house, or what? Uh, and quite a few SWAT units out here. Yes, sir. Uh, we uh, I, I called uh, Sheriff Rand Henderson about uh, 12, 12:30 this morning, and uh, uh, he activated his SWAT team uh, to help out us in our county. Same so. so, what do you want to tell the residents in this area about this suspect? Uh, the suspect is we don't believe him to be in the area. Okay. Uh, he's at least. Uh, 